Welcome to official DVSA driving theory test. Updated, UK, 2022. Parking place. This sign tells you that parking is available. End of temporary permission for traffic to use the hard shoulder. Police sign indicating road users should rejoin the main carriageway as temporary permission to use the hard shoulder has ended. Potential danger temporarily ahead and consequent need to proceed with caution. Police sign warning drivers that they should proceed with care as they are approaching a potential danger ahead that has arisen temporarily. Area where police carry out checks on the speed of vehicles. Reminder to drivers that they are entering an area where police undertake speed checks on vehicles. Traffic should use the hard shoulder in an emergency. This police sign warns traffic that due to an emergency, they should use the hard shoulder. Vehicle emissions checkpoint ahead. Sign to make drivers aware that they are approaching a checkpoint for vehicle emissions. Vehicle excise license checkpoint ahead. Sign to make drivers aware that they are approaching a checkpoint for vehicle excise licenses. Vehicle and Operator Services Agency Checkpoint Ahead Sign to inform drivers that they are approaching a checkpoint for the Vehicle and Operator Services Agency. Location of Traffic Survey Indication of the location of a traffic survey for road census data collection. Vehicles may be directed to stop at a traffic survey ahead. Warning sign to inform road users that they are approaching an area where they may be instructed to stop to take part in a traffic survey. Entrance to a car park, private access road or property. Entrance sign for a private access road, private property or a car park. Permanent change to the road layout ahead. Warning sign, informing road users that there has been a change to the road layout ahead that has been implemented permanently. Entry to a car park, private access road or property, from a public road not allowed. No entry allowed to a private access road, private property, or a car park from a public road. Exit from a car park, private access road or property, from a public road not allowed. No exit to a public road allowed, from a private access road, private property, or a car park. Exit from a car park, private access road or property. Exit sign for a private access road, private property, or a car park. Vehicles should reduce speed on approaching a traffic survey ahead. Instruction for drivers to reduce their speed as they are approaching a traffic survey for road census data collection. Vehicles must stop at a census traffic point. Drivers must stop due to a traffic survey for road census data collection. Hospital ahead with accident and emergency facilities. This sign is to inform drivers that they are about to approach a hospital. The additional information it gives is that there is an A&E in the hospital, but that it is not open 24 hours. Hospital ahead without accident and emergency facilities. This sign is to inform drivers that they are about to approach a hospital. The additional information indicates that there is no A&E facility at this hospital. One-way traffic in direction indicated sign for pedestrians. This sign is to inform pedestrians that are crossing a road that the approaching traffic is coming from one direction. In this case the traffic is coming from the left. Ramped entrance to pedestrian overbridge. This sign informs pedestrians that there is a ramp available at the entrance to an approaching footbridge. Ramped entrance to pedestrian subway. This sign informs pedestrians that there is a ramp available at the entrance to an approaching subway. Stepped entrance to pedestrian overbridge. This sign indicates to pedestrians that access to the footbridge is via steps only. Stepped entrance to pedestrian subway. This sign indicates to pedestrians that access to the subway is via steps only. Goods vehicles should leave the main carriageway on the approach to a vehicle checkpoint. This is a temporary road sign, which is intended to inform goods vehicles that they need to leave the current road in order to go to a vehicle checkpoint. Direction to a vehicle checkpoint. This is a temporary road sign, which advises specific types of vehicles that there is a checkpoint approaching. 
In this case the checkpoint is on the left. End of vehicle checkpoint area. This temporary sign indicates that they are no longer in a checkpoint restriction zone. Goods vehicles may be directed to enter a checkpoint ahead. Entry checkpoint ahead, which goods vehicles may be directed to use. Goods vehicles and buses may be directed to enter a checkpoint ahead. Entry checkpoint ahead, which goods vehicles and buses may be directed to use. Goods vehicles should get into the left lane to attend a goods vehicle checkpoint ahead. Direction for goods vehicles to prepare themselves for a checkpoint ahead by moving into the left lane. Goods vehicles should get into the left-hand lane of a three-lane carriageway on the approach to a goods vehicle checkpoint. Instruction for good vehicles to prepare themselves for a checkpoint ahead by moving into the left lane of a three-lane carriageway. Goods vehicles may be directed to stop ahead by a constable in uniform. Instructions for goods vehicles to stop if directed by a constable wearing a uniform. Goods vehicles should keep to the left-hand lane on approach to checkpoint ahead. Goods vehicles are required to approach the checkpoint ahead in the left-hand lane. Goods vehicles may be directed to leave the motorway at the junction ahead. Goods vehicles should leave the motorway at the junction ahead if they are directed to do so. Goods vehicles and buses may be directed to leave the motorway at the junction ahead. Goods vehicles and buses should leave the motorway at the junction ahead if they are directed to do so. Waiting place at a lay-by or observation platform for police vehicles only. This sign indicates the location of an observation platform or waiting place that is to be used by police vehicles alone. Accident ahead and consequent need to proceed with caution. Road sign warning drivers that they are approaching an accident ahead and they need to advance with care. Distance of half a mile of dual carriageway road extends ahead. This sign informs drivers that they are soon to join a short half mile stretch of dual carriageway and to prepare accordingly. No through road for vehicular traffic in direction indicated from junction ahead. This is a sign that indicates that there is a no through road for vehicular traffic approaching. The direction of the no through road is indicated in this symbol as coming up on the left. No through road for vehicular traffic in direction indicated from junction ahead. Number of lanes of traffic lanes ahead on a dual carriageway reduces from three lanes to two. Traffic in the right-hand lane must move into the lane on the immediate left. This sign is to warn drivers on a dual carriageway that the right-hand lane is about to end, meaning there will now only be two lanes. Drivers who are in the right-hand lane are required to move into the lane on their left in good time before the lane ends. This sign can also be used in reverse to show the loss of the left-hand lane. Passing place on a narrow road. You will see this sign being used on areas with narrow roads. It is to indicate to drivers that there is a passing place ahead so that they can safely pass another driver that is coming in the opposite direction. Number of lanes of traffic lanes ahead on a primary route reduces from three lanes to two. Traffic in the right-hand lane must move into the lane on the immediate left. This sign is to warn drivers on a primary route that the right-hand lane is about to end, meaning there will now only be two lanes. Drivers who are in the right-hand lane are required to move into the lane on their left in good time before the lane ends. This sign can also be used in reverse to show the loss of the left-hand lane. Route ahead only wide enough for one line of vehicles, but has passing places at intervals. This sign is informing drivers that they are about to approach a single track road with passing places. This means that the road can only accommodate a single line of vehicles. There are passing places on the road so vehicles will be able to safely pass each other at these intervals. Road unsuitable for articulated vehicles. This sign is informing drivers that the road is not suitable for articulated vehicles. Articulated vehicles are vehicles that have a permanent or semi-permanent pivot as part of their construction, such as a vehicle towing a trailer. Road unsuitable for caravans. This sign is indicating to drivers that the road ahead is unable to accommodate caravans. Drivers with a caravan attached are required to find an alternative route. Road unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles. 
This road sign is informing drivers that the road ahead is not suitable for heavy goods vehicles. Heavy goods vehicles usually refers to a lorry transporting cargo. Road unsuitable for long vehicles. This sign is informing drivers that the approaching road is not suitable for long vehicles. This could include lorries, buses, or cars towing a trailer or caravan. Road unsuitable for motor vehicles. This sign indicates that the road ahead is not suitable for motor vehicles. It could be that the road is damaged, or it is solely for use by pedestrians or as a bridleway. Road unsuitable for trailers. This sign is informing road users that the approaching road is not suitable for trailers. A trailer refers to an unpowered vehicle that is being towered by a powered vehicle. Road unsuitable for wide vehicles. This road sign indicates to drivers that the road ahead is not able to accommodate wide vehicles. Wide vehicles are usually defined as vehicles that measures more than 2.9 meters. Distance to a parking place ahead. This road sign informs drivers that there is a place to park in one mile. The distance measure will vary on these signs. Emergency telephone in a parking place. This sign informs drivers that there is an emergency phone located in the parking place they are approaching. Distance ahead to emergency telephone in a parking place. This sign informs drivers that there is an emergency phone located in the parking place they are approaching, which is half a mile away. Emergency telephone ahead. This sign is to indicate to drivers that they are about to approach an emergency phone. Drivers might need to use this if there has been an accident or if they require roadside assistance of some kind. Emergency telephone one mile ahead. This sign is to indicate to drivers that they will find an emergency phone in one mile. Direction to emergency exit for pedestrians from a tunnel. This sign is to indicate to drivers in a road tunnel that there is an emergency exit for pedestrians on the left-hand side. Distance of two miles to a section of dual carriageway ahead. This sign is to prepare drivers that there is a dual carriageway approaching in two miles time. This will give drivers time to prepare for a change in road rules and conditions. Section of dual carriageway road begins ahead. This sign is to prepare drivers that they are about to reach a dual carriageway. It is intended to give drivers time to prepare for a change in road rules and conditions. Level crossing with gate or barrier ahead. This is a level crossing with barrier ahead or gate ahead sign. It signals that you are approaching a level crossing where trains may be passing which also has gates. Railway level crossing without gate or barrier ahead. This is a level crossing without barrier or gate ahead sign. Trains may be passing here, but there will be no gates or barriers at the level crossing. Safe height beneath electrified overhead cable ahead. This sign outlines the maximum height of a vehicle to safely pass underneath an overhead electrified cable ahead. Warning of light signals at a level crossing, without a gate or barrier ahead. This sign warns road users of a level crossing ahead that has no gate or barrier and is controlled by warning lights. Load gauge giving audible warning to drivers where vehicle exceeds safe height under electrified overhead cables. Maximum height or load gauge give an audible warning with bells if height limit exceeded to warn of overhead electrified cables in front. Level crossing ahead is crossed by more than one railway or tramway track, and more than one train or tramcar may pass over it in quick succession. This sign warns drivers of a level crossing in front where there is the possibility of more than a single train or tramcar crossing quickly after one another. Direction to emergency telephone or telephone at or near railway or tramway level crossing. This sign indicates the route to an emergency telephone or a telephone that is near to a level crossing for trains or tramcars. Light signal at level crossing for pedestrians. An illuminated symbol to indicate to pedestrians that they should not cross the road at this time. Sight of emergency telephone or telephone at or near railway or tramway level crossing. This sign indicates the location of an emergency telephone or the location of a phone that is near to a level crossing for trains or tramcars.
new method of controlling traffic at a railway or tramway level crossing ahead. This sign warns road users of a new control system at a level crossing ahead for trains or tramcars. Countdown marker to railway or tramway level crossing. Marker indicating countdown has reached 300 yards to a level crossing for trains or tramcars. Countdown marker to railway or tramway level crossing. Marker indicating countdown has reached 200 yards to a level crossing for trains or tramcars. Countdown marker to railway or tramway level crossing. Marker indicating countdown has reached 100 yards to a level crossing for trains or tramcars. Place where drivers of large, slow, or long low vehicles should park near a level crossing while contacting the signal operator. This sign indicates a place for large, slow, or long and low vehicles to park in near to a level crossing so they can phone the signal operator. Another train or tram car may be about to pass over the level crossing. This sign indicates that another train or tram car is potentially about to cross a level crossing. Open railway level crossing without light signals. This sign indicates an open railway level crossing that is not controlled with light signals. Tram cars crossing ahead. This sign indicates where a railway or tram car crossing is located that is not controlled with a gate or barrier. Vehicular traffic must not stop within the area of a railway or tramway level crossing. This sign warns road users of an area they must not stop within by a railway or tramway level crossing. Drivers of large or slow vehicles must stop and telephone before using an automatic railway or tramway crossing. This sign warns drivers of large or slow moving vehicles that they are required to telephone for permission before crossing an automatic railway or a tramway crossing. Drivers of long low vehicles must telephone to obtain permission before using a railway or tramway level crossing. This sign indicates drivers of long low vehicles are required to telephone for permission before crossing an automatic railway or a tramway crossing. Electrified overhead cable ahead. This sign warns drivers of there being an overhead electrified cable in front. Risk of grounding at a railway or tramway level crossing or hump-backed bridge. This sign warns drivers of the danger of grounding on a hump-backed bridge, railway or tramway level crossing. Advance warning of a mandatory height restriction ahead. This sign provides road users prior warning of a compulsory height restriction on the route ahead. Maximum headroom of 14 feet and 6 inches at a hazard ahead. This sign warns road users that the maximum headroom at a hazard ahead is 14 feet and 6 inches. Maximum headroom of 4.4 meters at hazard ahead. This sign warns road users that the maximum headroom at a hazard ahead is 4.4 meters. High vehicles to use middle of road at arch bridge ahead. This sign indicates high vehicles must use the middle of the road at an arched bridge ahead. Maximum headroom of 12 feet and 6 inches at arch bridge ahead. This sign warns road users with high vehicles that there is an arched bridge hazard ahead with a maximum headroom of 12 feet and 6 inches. Maximum headroom of 3.8 meters at arch bridge ahead. This sign warns road users with high vehicles that there is an arched bridge hazard ahead with a maximum headroom of 3.8 meters. Reduced headroom over part of road due to overhanging building ahead. This sign warns of an overhang from a building or structure causing a reduction in headroom ahead. This will be accompanied by a red triangle indicating the maximum height limit. Vehicles exceeding 14 feet and 6 inches in height prohibited. Sign indicates vehicles above 14 feet and 6 inches in height are prohibited on a given route. Vehicles exceeding height indicated are prohibited. Height is displayed in both metric and imperial units. This sign indicates vehicles of the displayed height are prohibited. The height is shown in both imperial and metric units. Other danger ahead. Plate beneath indicates the nature of the hazard. This sign indicates a danger ahead and will be accompanied by a sign below indicating the nature of that hazard in writing. Road, congestion charge zone reminder. Entry to and waiting in pedestrian zone restricted, except for loading during the period indicated. Restriction on entrance, 
to a pedestrian zone and restriction on waiting for anything other than loading for the time period indicated. Entry to pedestrian zone restricted except for permit holders. Pedestrian zone is not to be entered except by loading vehicles with permits. Prohibition on waiting and loading and unloading in a pedestrian zone during the period indicated. Waiting, loading, and unloading are all prohibited in a pedestrian zone during the specific time period as indicated. Prohibition on waiting, loading, and unloading in a pedestrian zone at any time. Waiting, loading, and unloading are all prohibited in a pedestrian zone at all times. End of restrictions associated with a pedestrian zone. Restriction associated to a pedestrian zone come to an end at location of this sign. Light signals for pedestrians. Red and green light pedestrian signals and instructions for use at a crossing controlled by traffic lights. Instructions to pedestrians above the push control at light signals. Written instructions for pedestrians above the push button of a crossing controlled by traffic lights. Near side light signals and instructions for pedestrians at a pedestrian facility controlled by light signals. Red and green light pedestrian signals and instructions for their use to cross the road at a pedestrian crossing controlled by traffic lights. Light signals for pedestrians and cyclists at a two-cam crossing. Red and green light pedestrian and cycle signals and instructions for use at a two-cam crossing. Near side light signals and instructions for pedestrians and cyclists at a two-cam crossing. Red and green light pedestrian and cycle signals and instructions for their use to cross the road at a two-cam crossing controlled by traffic lights. Instructions to pedestrians and cyclists above the push button control at a two-cam crossing. Written instructions for both pedestrians and cyclists shown above the push button of a two-cam crossing. Light signals for equestrian traffic. Light signals for use by horse riding traffic. Near side light signals and instructions for horse riders at an equestrian traffic crossing facility. Red and green light horse riding signals and instructions for their use to cross the road at an equestrian traffic crossing controlled by traffic lights. Instructions to horse riders above the push button control for an equestrian traffic crossing. Written instructions for horse riders shown above the push button of an equestrian traffic crossing. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test.